the CW Twin Cities presents See What's Now, your entertainment news source. Hey, John. Gray Drake, how are you? I'm super good. Awesome. Senior editor at Rotten Tomatoes, thanks so much for being with us. And we are talking everything Oscars. Uh, it's, I'm sure this is a huge week for you. Tell us what we are going to see. Oh my God. I just love the Oscars because it's Movie Nerd Super Bowl and I live for this all year long. When I'm watching movies, I'm always thinking like, do you think, do I think Grey Drake that that would strike a chord with voters when awards time come? And the fact that a movie like Get Out that was released in February, very early in the year, last year, is nominated for awards gives me new faith in the system. And, okay, so last year there was the big mishap at the end. Number one, what was going through your mind? Do you like those kind of things? <laughs> and are we going to see anything like that this year? I live for this kind of <laughs> manic mania nonsense that happens in a show that's produced to the hilt. Like, they work very hard to assure that nothing like that would ever happen. But you know what? They didn't account for Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway. Listen, Bonnie and Clyde don't live by your rules. And they read what they wanted to read. <laughs> was it their fault? Whose fault was that? Uh, this was eventually attributed to the accountants who are very intense about the process because it's very important. And I have, as I understand, the gentleman that is said to have contributed to the event uh, is been severely disciplined and might not even be there this year. So when it was, was he happening- out of the country? Hammer, right, hammer, right. Hammer. We, have, we have shunned him, okay? He can't get a table <laughs> anywhere in LA restaurants. All right. Are we gonna see anything crazy this year? that you know of? I mean, I know those things you can't really predict, but have you heard uh, as far as like any of the skits or any of the comedy? Is it gonna be political? Is anything crazy gonna happen this year? Or do you think they're gonna kind of go try to, try to play it safe now because of that? I always really hope that something crazy is gonna happen because those are my favorite moments. I really love when the unexpected happens and people are really excited about winning or when there's a great kind of lead in to an award that's well written. And I think Jimmy Kimmel is just the guy to provide that kind of stuff. I think that on his show every night, he talks about things that are going on in the world, but he does it in a really funny, embracing way. And I love that stuff. So I'm really looking forward to Sunday. What was your favorite movie of the year? Oh my God, that's so mean of you to make me choose like that. <laughs> One of the most memorable films is actually nominated for Best Picture, and it's The Shape of Water. Yeah, and, I've heard that's really good. Okay, so you haven't seen it yet. So let me explain to you that directed by Guillermo del Toro, who I think is going to win Best Director, this movie is essentially the creature from the Black Lagoon. If the creature fell in love with the lady, but she was totally on board with it. <laughs> and <laughs> I love that idea. It was really exciting. It had thriller elements, a really great villain, but it was also super romantic. And I bought an annual pass to SeaWorld because of it. Very cool. I love SeaWorld. I used to work there. That's a story for another, for another day. <laughs> My next question is, is Black Panther really that good? Uh-huh. If you haven't seen it yet, you are missing out. It lives up to the hype? Yeah, and it surpasses the hype in certain ways because wow. what I really liked about Black Panther was that it's this story and it's a superhero movie and it's exciting in all of those ways. So you can watch it and it's like car chases and explosions, but at the same time, they're great, rich characters, and I was really surprised that Black Panther himself, played by Chadwick Boseman, was the least interesting character out of all of these incredible supporting cast members. And plus, it's like a cultural moment. We're going to be talking about Black Panther next year when we talk about the Oscars. All right, I definitely want to see that, and I know that it's it's up in the top 90 98 or something percent with its Rotten Tomatoes score. I don't know what it is at the moment, but I want to know what makes the perfect Rotten Tomatoes movie. Oh. How am I going to get, I need to make a movie that's going to get 100%. What do I need to do? Oh my God. Well, first of all, that is the absolute wrong way to approach making a film because you have, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just to tell you, because Strike one. you have to have a story that you want to tell and you have to be really passionate about telling it. All of these puzzle pieces have to fit in place to engage your audience, right? So recently, a film came out that dethroned the number one reviewed film of all time on Rotten Tomatoes. 
And that film was about a little British bear that likes to eat marmalade sandwiches, Paddington 2. Mm, okay. So here's why everyone liked it. Just to generalize, this was a movie that was full of heart, it was funny, and it was surprisingly engaging for an animated film about a bear. Like, what? And also, it is, Paddington is really beloved in the UK, but it really captured the, the attention of the critics and audiences all over the world. It's just a good movie. So figure out the story you want to tell, and then maybe you'll dethrone Paddington too. Okay, I'll come back with my perfect film next year. I'll have that ready for you. Good. Okay, it's, it's time for the lightning round. Can I just go through some of the top categories and ask who's going to win? All right, I'm ready. All right, best picture. Shape of Water. Lead actor. Gary Oldman, Darkest Hour. Lead actress. Frances McDormand for Three Billboards, We Love Her. Supporting actor. That one's gonna be Sam Rockwell or possibly Willem Dafoe for The Florida Project. I've heard The Florida Project was really good. Oh, loved it. Okay, All right, that's on my list as well. All right, supporting actress. Allison Janney for I, Tanya. Special mention goes to the parakeet that she has on her shoulder during the film as Tanya Harding's super mean mom. All right, very cool. All right, well, best interview ever. <laughs> Yay! Is it this one? Is it this one? Oh, <laughs> yes. I already took the award. I, I thought I thought you were just giving it to me. <laughs> oh, you got it. You won. You won. <laughs> All right, well, great, Drake. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, and we're definitely pumped even more now about the Oscars after getting that little preview. So thank you very much for that, and have a great day. Thanks, John. I'm looking forward to giving you a golden tomato someday. Oh, I can't wait. Thanks. <laughs>